Yeah. So what is Vedic Maths? It is a collection of simple trick technique which will help you in your calculation. Okay. It helps you to calculate faster. And it the, these tricks and techniques are very simple, easy to learn. Anyone can, you know, easily learn it and easily apply it as well. And these techniques, it come, it they are they come from our Vedas. Okay. So these are very old techniques, but uh, it was lost in the due course of time, but it was made popular again by Jagat Guru Shri Krishna, Bharti Krishna Tirthaji. Okay. So I'll recap. First of all, these are very simple tricks and techniques which uh, help you to calculate faster, very fast calculation, even two digit, three digit number you can uh, calculate within, you know, 30 seconds in your mind or even less than 30 seconds. And these techniques co come from our Atharva Veda specifically. And uh, these techniques are not new, very old techniques, but it was lost. But in the, uh, it was revived or made popular again by Jagat Guru Shri Bharti Krishna Tirthaji. Okay, so it is a very short introduction about Vedic Maths. So, are you all with me on the same page as I am? Please show me your thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, now, let us learn the our first technique. Are you all ready with a book and a pen? Okay. Can you see the screen? Is it uh, properly visible? Crisscross multiplication. Okay, please note down the topic. Crisscross multiplication. This is the first topic which we are going to learn today. After writing it down, please uh, show me your thumbs up. Okay, assuming that you have noted down the topic. Have you all noted it down? Okay, let us begin. Are you all ready? Can we start? Abhimanyu, Rasika, Rani, Kalindi, Srividya, Radhika Kumar, Paki Bihari, can we start? Okay. So now we'll be learning two digit multiplication. Okay. Two, di two digit multiplication we'll be learning. How to get the answer of this two digit multiplication in one line. In school, among you who all have solved such type of sums before, who knows to solve such sums? You may open your mic and you may answer. Who knows to solve? Abhimanyu, do you know? Rasika, Rani, Kalindi. Who knows to solve?
सत्यजीत एंड नेहा यू नो यस यू मे शो मी योर थम्स अप और यू कैन इवन आंसर इट थ्रू योर माइक ओके सत्यजीत एंड नेहा ओके they know to solve what about uh, kalindi banke bihari abhimanyu kalindi abhimanyu you know to solve such sum 276 okay uh, <laughs> rakhi gave me the answer she knows anyways so in school how is it okay i have kalindi doesn't knows okay in school you know how do we solve such sum the first sum first step is to multiply this number 2 by 3 2 into 3 you get 6 2 into 2 you get 4 then since since you have two numbers you'll put a zero here then 1 into 3 3 One into two, two. Then you add these two lines. Six plus zero six, four plus three seven, and two plus nothing is two. So you get the answer in three line one, two, and three. But you know what? Two. Through our Vedic maths, you can get the answer in one line. Are you all excited to learn it? To get the answer in just one line, the final answer you can get in one line. Excited? Excited? Show me your thumbs up. I'm not getting any reply from your side. Okay. Thank you, Satyajit Abhimanyu. Dhara Kalindi, thank you so much. So let us begin the Vedic maths method of solving it in one line. So there are three steps. Okay, please pay attention on the screen. To solve this two-digit multiplication sum, there are three steps. Okay, step A. Can you see the small circles? this represent the digit upper digit lower digit upper two digit lower two digit okay so first step is to multiply the number to the extreme right first step okay clear next next step step b says to multiply it crosswise okay and write add it and write it you now you just understand this way after that i'll make you understand with the help of one example it will make it more clear okay step c says to multiply the number extreme left number okay okay these are our three steps now with the help of example let us see how to do it first step to multiply the numbers to the extreme right your extreme right numbers are 3 into 2 which is 6 right please pay attention on the screen please don't write step b multiply the numbers crosswise 3 into 1 3 2 into 2 4 3 plus 4 3 plus 4 gives you Three plus four gives you seven. Correct. Okay. Clear till here. Any doubt? Are you all able to understand? Are you all with me? Hari Krishna. Are you all with me? Yes. Okay. Now next step. Last step. To multiply the number to the extreme left. 
your extreme left numbers are 2 into 1, which gives you 2. You got the answer in just one line. Amazing. Amazing. How is it? How's the trick? You're liking it? Yes. What about Dhara, Kalindi? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So please note down. First you note down these steps. Okay. Note down these steps. Then I'll give you some time to write down the sum as well. Okay. I'll give you 10 seconds to quickly note down. Fast. Come on. After noting it down, you will write done in the chat box. Dhara and Yashika. Okay. They finished writing it down. What about others? Have you noted it down? Abhimanyu, Shri Vidya. Okay, very good. Sia. Good. I'll wait for Kalindi done. Okay. What about others? I'll wait for three more seconds. Baki Bihari, that's done. Prasika Rani and Rasila. Thank you. Okay. Now, please note down this sum as well. Quickly. If you want to note down uh, from the first step, this is the first step. Second step. And the last one. Okay. Five seconds I'll wait here. Okay, Rasika Mataji. Does this strategy work for every like sum, uh, every multiplication? Every two digit multiplication, yes. Every two digit multiplication for three digit, uh, the the technique changes. For four digit, it changes. Only for two digit, yes. Any number, it will work. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Uh... I am Sia's mom. So just wanted to ask because in her school, they would be, I get the trick, it's really good. But when they ask for working and everything, then won't they have to go to the normal method the school teaches? Yes, yes, Mataji. I was about to come and very nice question. Thank you so much. Uh, Mataji, yes, in uh, school, every step carries marks, right? In school, you will follow all these steps. Mm -hmm. Whatever your teacher is asking you to follow, you will follow it. Okay. This will help you uh, to calculate in mind. Okay. And mm -hmm. when there are, you know, there are uh, oral uh, exams also in maths. So it will help like you. Mental there. math. Uh, yeah. Mental maths. Yeah. And then there are also competitive exams. There are very various Olympiads, competitive exam, MCQs. <laughs> And it boosts your confidence. It is, you know, um, it it is uh, slowly it will uh, develop love for the subject. So there are various benefits. And uh, when you're going for shopping or anything like that, at that time also, this technique will help you. There are many techniques in Vedic maths which, which will help you in your daily life. So Mataji, uh, I was about to, uh, you know, cover that topic that please, please Hello. follow your teacher uh, because every step carries marks in maths. Even though your final answer is not correct, your step will give you marks. 
Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Shri Vidya Mataji, um, she is writing in in higher grades, they don't check steps for rough, rough work and calculation goes into rough work. Wanted to add this. Yes, Mataji, thank you so much. So uh, when the students go like they are in higher grades, it of course goes in rough work and it will help them to speed up their calculation. Thank you so much. So I hope everyone has noted down. We can move ahead now. We will solve one more sum together and then I'll give you one sum to solve on your own. Okay. So let us take this sum 34 into 11. Step one says to multiply the extreme right numbers. Here the numbers are 4 into 1. Answer is 4. Next step. Are you all with me? Next step says to multiply it crosswise 3 into 1 and 4 into 1, 3 plus 4. 3 into 1 is 3, 4 into 1 is 4, 3 plus 4 is 3 plus 4 is 7. Correct. This is the next step. Are you all with me in the same page as I am? Please tell, let me know. Okay. Last step to multiply the numbers to the extreme left. Here, 3 into 1 is 3. So you got the answer. The answer is 374. Right? Are you all getting easy, no? Yes, it is easy. Okay. So... I'll give you one sum to solve on your own. Can we go ahead? I'll give you five seconds to copy it down. Okay, this meeting will end in five minutes. Please do join. Okay, the, the link will be same. Password will be same. Everything will be same. Please join in again, please requesting you to join in again after five minutes. Can we go ahead? Have you all noted it down? Abhimanyu, Kalindi, Sia, Dhara. Banke Bihari, Prabhuji, Rasikarani, Mataji, Shri Vidya, Radhika, Kumar. Have you all noted it down? Please let me know. Show me your thumbs up. Done? Okay. Thank you. So, try this sum on your own. Little, very little different from the previous ones, but I know you can do it. Come on. 42 into 24 and write the answer in the chat box. What is the answer? Try it, try it. Very easy. Follow all these steps. 
Dhara and Yashika, please redo it. Small error, please redo it. Check it again. Dhara and Yashika, please. Sia, correct. Very good. What about others? Are you all solving? At least trying? Rasika Rani Mataji, correct. Very good. Abhimanyu. Abhimanyu, what, what did you get as your answer? 928. No, Brita, please check it. Redo it. Redo it. Do it again. Tara and Yashika, correct. What about others? Alindi. Bhakya Bihari Prabhu Rasika, she gave the answer. Shri Vidya Radhika. Shri Vidya, correct. Okay, let us solve it together. Okay, first step to multiply the extreme right number. Here it is 2 into 4, which is 8. Next step, multiply it crosswise. 4 into 4 is 16, right? 4 into 4 is 16 and 2 into 2 is 4. Total is 20. Correct? Correct, no? Okay. So what you what you'll do, you'll write 0 here and carry over 2. Easy? Any doubt till here? 4 into 4 is 16. 2 into 2 is 4. You'll add both this number, 16 plus 4. You'll get 20. You'll write 0 down and carry over 2. Okay? Keep 2 in your mind. Last step to multiply the extreme left number. Here the number is 4 into 2, which is 8. And you have carried over 2. So, 4, oh, sorry, 8 plus 2 gives you 10. The answer is 1008. 1008. Simple, easy, no? Abhiman, you got it? Others, Kalindi, Sia, Dhara. Any doubt at this point in time? Okay, the yes. and in less than one minute, please rejoin it. Excuse me. Any doubt? <clears throat> Okay, can we move to the next? We'll take a new trick after this, okay? 